I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Quest and I thought I'd do a quick little video about prepping. I know I don't seem to be the kind of person you think would be a prepper, but with so much going on and a lot of controversy about things that could go wrong or power going off or who knows? It could be dozens of things. It could be just a storm. So Sherry and I both have kind of agreed, especially in the last few months, that being prepared a little bit here is a good way to go. So there's a couple of simple things we've done that maybe you might want to consider. Since we have an RV, we have the advantage of being mobile. That's the first thing. Our work, where we work, is not that far away. So we've agreed that no matter what, any signs of trouble that we feel might cause um, some heartache is to get back to the RV. Whether I have to go pick her up, or whatever it takes, or by foot, or whatever, get back to the RV. <clears throat> Reason being is it's self-contained for many weeks. Um, if we can serve. So some of the things I did in the RV, even though I'm in an RV park, I keep spare water up in our cupboards. We keep at least two cases of just bottled water. The other thing is, it's not that big a deal, is I fill up our water tank and just hold water. Even though I'm on public water, we still have filled up the tanks and oh every couple of weeks I'm just gonna rotate the water out which is probably a good thing to do anyway so we have 50 gallons of water on hand all the time the last thing I thought we'd do just to be on the safe side if things really got crazy maybe to uh, we can't get to grocery stores and stuff we needed food so we have a lot of canned goods and things like that and we have lots of food here for the dog and cat but the other thing I thought would be a good investment is one of these. Now I got this at Cabela's and what it is is one week's ration of dried food. The main ingredient, water. So I'm not saying to anybody to panic or say anything like I think this is just common sense. Even if we were just traveling in the RV and we got stuck between Reno and say Las Vegas in the desert for a couple of days because we were broke down or something, caught off guard. We have food, and as long as we have water, we can eat. We're in good shape. And of course, we have other things on the RV that I don't want to go into detail that pertain to good sense prepping and protection. But the main thing is, it doesn't matter if you have any of that other stuff, if you can't eat, you need food and you need water. So I just thought I'd mention to you that you can get these between $80 to 120 I believe, different kind of brands. We went with a better brand, so we paid a little more. And I'm almost tempted to have to get another one. It's going to last forever, and uh, it really makes you gives you a peace of mind. Uh, I, like I said, I, I don't want to be a gloom and doom kind of person. I think I'm always positive. But I think also looking after my family is important too. So, this day and age, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Hopefully nothing. Um, but if not, it'd be nice to be prepared or be prepared to at least be without power for a week or maybe two weeks uh, while things are getting repaired or fixed. So, whether it's natural or unnatural causes. So anyway, I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest. I hope this is a good idea for you, and I want everybody to have a great day. Bye now.